It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Our guest today is an international best-selling author whose first three books, if you can believe it, including his most famous, A Million Little Pieces, were all number one bestsellers. And he's with us today to talk to us about his groundbreaking interactive project that uses his book series Endgame to create a real world mobile adventure. It sounds very complicated, but I am sure that our guest James Fry is going to get us on the right track with what this is all about. James, welcome to Sidewalks. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. So before we get started talking about the project, tell me a little bit about your background and how you became a writer. Uh, I became a writer just because I love books. You know, I loved reading. Um, you know, I, I talk about the best books light me up. And, and what I mean by that is that, that it's like a light inside you goes on. Um, and you're excited and you're um, scared and you're thrilled and you want to keep turning pages. And, at a certain point in my life, I said, I want to do that. I want, I want to do to other people what books have done to me. Um, I'm from Cleveland originally. You know, I've lived all over the place. Um, and, and, and I just love books and, and feel very privileged to get to do this for my job. So what do you think it takes to really capture a reader's attention on a page? Like, what is, is there some methodology behind that? as a writer? You know, I always try to write things I wish existed in the world. So I try to write books I wish I got to read. Um, you know, I think you have to have constant conflict. Um, you know, all drama is born out of conflict. Um, and, it, and, and there's conflict and resolution and conflict and resolution. Um, readers don't like to be bored. Um, you know, you, you try to push the boundaries of, of what you're doing so that if something feels exciting to you when you're writing it, if you're doing it effectively, it's going to feel exciting to a reader when they're reading it. Um, writing a book's a, a, a really cool and, and sometimes very odd thing because you basically sit in a room by yourself for a year. Um, and when I write books, I don't really have people read them while I'm writing them, so you don't really ever know if what you're doing is even any good or not. Um, That's scary. <laughs> it's kind of scary. It's kind of exciting. It's, it's, um, it's, it's interesting. It's a great job. I, I honestly, I can't imagine doing anything else and I'm not qualified at this point in my life to do anything else. <laughs> well, thank goodness for that because you have got so many fans out there and you've got this great, exciting new project. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about sort of where it first began and what, what this Endgame interactive project is all about? So Endgame began when I was 10 years old um, in Cleveland. My mom brought home this book one day called Masquerade. And Masquerade was a, a pretty simple book with 16 pages of text and 16 pages of pictures. And it had a puzzle uh, written into the text and embedded into the pictures. And if you could solve that puzzle, the author had buried a solid gold jewel-encrusted rabbit somewhere on Earth. Um, and the puzzle led <laughs> you to the location of it. I, I became fascinated with this book. And I read it over and over again. And, and I tried to solve the puzzle. And I thought about it everywhere I went. And I loved it because it somehow became more than a book. It became uh, something living. Um, and, and I always wanted to try to do something like it. I always wanted to write a book with a puzzle. At the same time, we live in a world uh, full of technology. We have the internet. We have all the world's knowledge at our fingertips whenever we want it. We have social media. We have YouTube. We have mobile games. We have movies. Um, so as I started thinking about this, I, I, I thought, why not try to write a 21st century book that um, uses all of this technology and all of these platforms and also has a puzzle in it um, with the hope that I could engage readers in the same way that I was engaged when I was a kid. That's amazing. <laughs> I love the concept of that. So then you've written this book 
actually it's a book trilogy if I'm correct, Endgame. What is, what is Endgame about the actual story? So the story says that um, humanity was created by aliens. There's a bunch of kind of awesome information about human genetics and the changes that have occurred to it, and it, a lot of it's unexplainable. But in the book, we say that aliens created humanity 12,000 years ago. And when they did it, they created 12 original civilizations around the world. And that when they created them, they told them someday the world would end. And when it did, a game would be played to determine the future of humanity. And each of these civilizations had to have somebody prepared to play that game at all times. Um, at the beginning of the first book, the game starts, and what the players learn is that Endgame is the hunt for three keys. The three keys have been hidden around the globe. And the first of them to physically possess all three of those keys wins the game. What we have done is there, uh, there will be three novels, 30 digital novellas, there are 50 social media accounts. Um, Google is building a mobile game for your phone and 20th Century Fox is making three movies. But each of the three novels will have a puzzle written into it. And just as the book is about a global scavenger hunt for a hidden key, um, we are hiding a real key somewhere in the world. And the first person to solve that puzzle will receive the key, and they can take that key to Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada, and open a case filled with $500,000 of gold coins. I don't know anybody that couldn't use that kind of cash, Ola. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was with the gold in Los Angeles a couple weeks ago. We, we bought it and we're storing it in, Lo in Los Angeles before it goes to Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. And it was amazing having this giant pile of gold in front of me. And it was honestly amazing thinking about who's going to win it because somebody's going to win it. Somebody's going to solve that puzzle, get that key and, and walk away with a big, big pile of gold. Now, does it change kind of your writing process um, and or the story when you're trying to conceptualize the layering of all of these interactive worlds? I thought about that a lot before I did it, and what I decided to do was just write the book. You know, the book had to be awesome. You know, it had to be readable and exciting and fun and scary and compelling. It, it had to be filled with characters that readers will love and connect to. So the first thing I did was just focus on the book, make sure the book was right. Once I thought the book was right, we started building all of the other stuff. We, we started integrating a puzzle into it. We started running the social media accounts. Um, an example of the social media is all, there are 13 major characters in the book and each of them has had Twitter and Google Plus profiles for the last year. So a, a, a reader can, can read a book Google their favorite character's name and then go read their Twitter feed or be friends with them on Google+. Plus. Um, but the first step was making sure the book was right, that it, that it was fun and, and readable and that it kept you turning the pages. Now, where can people go at this point to get more information about, about participating and, and jumping on the bandwagon for this? Well, hopefully your local bookstore has it. It should be in book, bookstores all over the world, actually. Um, or you can get it on Amazon. You can go to endgameiscoming.com or you can check out uh, Endgame on Facebook or me, James Fry, on Facebook. That sounds great. James, thank you so much for being with us today on Sidewalks. It was such a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for having me, Cindy. It was awesome being here. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.